What I don't want to see from Para Lives is it becomes a shallow, cozy game that lives up to be the cozy game of the week and then die off into obscurity. Okay. Well, hello. Welcome to my channel. I know y'all hear that little beat in the back. Wait a minute. Don't ask me to be smart on here. I'm playing video games. <laughs> leave me alone. Let me play my video games. You need to leave me alone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're attacking me. <laughs> I feel attacked. No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh my. What's the point of the game? She has nothing left to live for. Oh my. Are you serious? <laughs> My doubts about Paralyzed have returned, and I think it's important to talk about this because one, I am genuinely excited for this game, probably my most anticipated game since 2019. Two, I think it's really beneficial for not only the community, but the team that's working so incredibly hard to develop this title to hear multiple perspectives. Now I want to clarify what I mean when I say doubts. I'm not doubting the potential for Paralyzed to be a good game, I have a sense of confidence when saying everything that they have confirmed and showed proves to me this will be a game I will enjoy. Now I am subscribed to their Patreon and have been for a while. I will not discuss what they include on their Patreon out of respect for the team, unlike some other creators who think otherwise. Anyway, <laughs> my point is I've seen enough to fully support this project. What I want to address in this video is what I will refer to as fears for the future of Pair Lives. Well, I did just say that I fully believe in the potential of this game so if I think a game that hasn't even been released yet is so great what am I afraid of to answer the question that I know some of you were already typing it's a combination to my reaction of the live mode sneak peeks and the discussion around para lives recently not so much the overtly negative commentary I've noticed those takes aren't really based in logic and it's just hate towards this game because it dares to challenge the sims <laughs> I'm speaking of the speculation if Paralives will actually hold true to all the amazing things they have promised. Remember around 2019 and 2020 when Paralives was first announced and everyone was talking about the new life simulation that made so many promises that caused such a stir in the community. The team has conveniently compiled all the confirmed features into an organized list on their website. They confirmed so many eye-catching topics like cars, open worlds, horses, and houseboats. All the things the majority would say that makes an ideal life sim. Reading this list now in 2022 still gives me that fluttery feeling I only get when discovering a game that speaks to me. However, there was a common concern or shutdown that was always brought up when discussing these so-called gimmicks. I still see this complaint to this day. It's basically impossible to escape the narrative of we haven't seen any real gameplay so we couldn't possibly know if this game will turn out the way they say it will. I have seen this point portrayed in so many ways. You'll have the irrational angry or unnecessarily disrespectful takes. Like I said, I don't give energy to those people. They're sad and have the urge to make people feel the same despair that shape their personalities. But I have also seen some actually good points being made to back this up. One person who I feel can do this in a sensible way is Simmer Aaron. In their videos, they speak about the game with an emphasis to focus on realistic expectations. One of those expectations is understanding sometimes the most desired features aren't realistic to come from an independent indie studio. Now the irrational and emotional side of me wants to write Simmer Aaron off as a hater, thumbs down the video and move on. However, a better part of myself believes having unrealistic expectations wouldn't be fair to the Paralives team. It would be such a waste for all of their hard work to be overshadowed by our inability to understand what we want may not be the most feasible idea. So let's be fair to the amazing creators of pair lives and let's discuss my doubts. <laughs> So like I said, the biggest complaint is we haven't seen any real gameplay. Well guess what? Now we have. With I think up to 4 live mode sneak peeks so far, this is what they were asking for. So problem solved, right? 
Well, no, not yet at least. You would think with seeing these live mode sneak peeks would just fuel my enthusiasm. Actually, these short clips left me with more questions. We have to remember the game is still very much in early development, so there is an explanation of why the features they showed are a bit shallow to me. They are called sneak peeks for a reason. I doubt they have fleshed out live mode enough to feel comfortable on showcasing the depth of the gameplay that will put Paralyzed in a light it deserves to be seen in. Realistically, I would not expect to see the detailed features until after they announce an official release date. It would be kind of ignorant to expect anything like that in this stage of development, though I can't deny it makes me a little nervous. One thing that me and my generation do not have in common is the obsession with aesthetics. Now don't get me wrong, I live for a good vibe, but you will never catch me valuing aesthetics over quality. What I don't want to see from Paralives is it becomes a shallow cozy game that lives up to be the cozy game of the week and then die off into obscurity. For Paralives to thrive, it will need in-depth systems that make you feel you are truly playing with life. What stole my heart when I first discovered The Sims was not build mode or cast, it was watching the characters I created have meaningful life experiences. Having jobs that turn into successful careers, having meaningful relationships from soulmates to mortal enemies, developing a skill into a hobby, or shaping their children to become unique adults. I'm over explaining what I want from a video game. To put it simply, I want more than just a cozy vibe from Paralives. I want an experience that is not only challenging, but engaging. I'm a gamer first and a simmer second. I want to play a game that makes me feel accomplished. And I truly think a cozy life sim can have the potential to do that if the right amount of planning and thought goes into the small details that connect into bigger details that transform into an escapable immersion. The gameplay needs to do the talking, not my imagination. I've said all that to say, I just hope Paralives doesn't turn out to be a shallow game. <laughs> I will still be patient and put my full trust into this game until they give me a real reason not to. I adore the Paralives team. You guys seem like such nice people. All your hard work will make so many players happy. The praise is well deserved. Stay positive. Okay, I've talked enough. If you made it this far into the video, drop one of these for me in the comments. I live for you. Bye! Hey, you liked this video, didn't you? Okay, why don't you go ahead and click the like button and then watch this video. Or you can watch this video. You know, same vibe, get your life. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Bye! <laughs>